Good morning. Let's start this morning with prayer, shall we? Thank you, Lord. Bless this day. Uh, thank God it's Friday, the first Friday of May 2024. We dedicate this weekend to you. Be glorified, be exalted, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's start by reading Job chapter 7, 7 through 16. This is Job's responding to Elipas, part 6. This is word of Job. Oh, remember that my life is wind. Mine eye shall no more see good. The eye of him that seeth me shall behold me no more. Thine eye shall be upon me, but I shall not be. As the cloud is consumed and vanished away, so that goeth down the shoal shall come up no more. He shall return no more to his house, neither shall his place know him any more. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Am I a sea or a sea monster or a whale that thou settest a watch over me? When I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints, then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifies me through visions so that my soul chooses strangling death rather than these bones i loathe my life i will not live away let me alone for my days are vanity <laughs> so now job uh, not responding to elipas but responding to god he says that I'm going to complain now bluntly. I'm not going to hide my feeling. Hmm. Wow. Let me just read what I wrote. Or, yeah, Pastor Pang. From Pastor Pang's Christian perspective, Job's candid admission of his despair and desire for death of life can be understood within the broader context of Christian narratives. While Christianity does not shy away from the reality of suffering, it is also offers hope beyond despair. The Bible acknowledges the trials of life as seen in Psalm 22:1, where David cries out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yet it also provides assurance of God's presence and eventual deliverance, as epitomized in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Pastor Pang might emphasize that in Christianity, Despair is met with promise of redemption and promise of presence of compassionate God who is near to brokenhearted. Suffering, but in the context of Cambodia, suffering or dukkha or dukkha is an inheritance as aspect of existence that can be understood, Cambodia, understood and ultimately transcend through the practice of dharma. A Cambodian proverb reflecting this understanding my state, suffering is a teacher. So the Buddhist approach encouraged individual to reflect inwardly, to understand impermanent nature of all things, and to work toward the cessation of suffering enlightenment, which is called nirvana. When we say nirvana, basically it's that end of suffering, place where end of suffering. We like the Cambodian proverbs, Suffering is a teacher. So when we teach Cam uh, Cambodians on Book of Job, said, well, your proverb says suffering is teacher. And they say, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so what's the problem? We need to suffer. And suffering is just part of life. But then they, they would respond to us and say, but you Christians said that suffering is not good. Who said that? Uh, the prosperity gospel teachers? Oh, okay. Well, that's not gospel at all. Yeah. So in reflecting all this, in Job's sense of brevity, brevity of life in his despair, my days are but breath. How does Psalm 39, 4, 5, where God, David asked the Lord to make me know my end, what is the measure of my days, challenge us to consider the value and purpose of our own lives in light of our mortality? How does Jesus' example of submission to Father's will, even the face of imminent suffering 
in immense suffering and provide a mo model for us to approach our own trials and tribulations? That's the question that we're going to kind of reflect on. I mean, we read uh, Job and he is now basically uh, openly uh, telling God that, well, am I a monster? Am I a whale? Am I a sea monster? And it's, it's funny how King James says whales, English Revised Version says sea monster, and Korean Bible says dragon. <laughs> it just tells me that, wow, you really need to read many different versions in order to really fully appreciate. But basically, it's saying that from, from your eyes, I'm just this monster, this gigantic thing, right? Um, and he's saying that I choose to die. Please, let me die. I loathe, I hate my life. I would not live, right? Um, let me alone. Let my days are in vanity. Wow, that's very strong words. But that's what Job is saying. But as we now reflect, what does that mean for us? Um, and especially in reflection of King David, David says, that make me know my end and what in the measure of my days. So something that we've been thinking about, daily gospel people, what is daily mean? What is each day mean for us? What what is the day brings? Hmm. And when going through the suffering, having the attitude of Jesus, when Jesus said, yes, it's coming, it's, yeah, crucifixion, Christ, death by crucifix, crucif, crucifixion, it's eminent, it's, it's upon me. And yet, he goes to God and says, let your will be done, not mine. I think that's the part that I think uh, we need to meditate today and and really say that, Lord, there are stuff that I go through, uh, maybe because of my sin before, or it is a consequence of penalty, punishment, then I'll take gladly. But while I'm going through gladly, there it. The fact that it uh, brings suffering is something I cannot avoid. So Holy Spirit, God, as we go through this suffering, would I have enough faith to seek your presence, recognize your presence, and we ask for you to become the beacon of light, hope, in the midst of this suffering, Lord. We admit that we are suffering now. There's nothing I can do about that. But Lord, I pray that although I don't, I cannot grasp, I cannot touch, can hope become visible? Can hope become touchable? As Jesus cried out, take this cup away from me, Lord, but if it is thy will, let your will be done. So Holy Spirit, God, for those who's really, 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 really suffering, struggling, God, I pray that you give us hope. Set us free, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord bless you guys. See you tomorrow. Well, tomorrow will be a book talk.